Hello, so recently AVO 3.0 was released and uh, actually I am using AVO for super rails to manage the posts, tags and the uh, playlists, so for all the kind of backend stuff. And uh, I'd like to upgrade to AVO version 3 from version 2 now and uh, you can follow me and uh, we can see together what the upgrade process is going to look like. So uh, there's this announcement on the AVO website that AVO 3 was launched. If I go to the GitHub, uh, if you see it is actually already 3.0.6. So yeah, let's try upgrading AVO and uh, yeah, right now I'm running this app on AVO tool. So I've got like some posts, I've got search, uh, I've got uh, a few actions, uh, users, tags, uh, playlists, uh, comments. Okay, so uh, first of all, I will go to the SuperRails app and go to the gem file. Here I have the gem AVO. I will actually specify that uh, I want to run the version bigger than, uh, bigger or equal to 3.0.6. 0 0.6 and now I will run bundle once again so bundle okay and uh, I will need to upgrade my license key so I will go to ava.rb uh, I was using uh, version 2 and uh, I have a license key for version 2 and now I'm going to use a license key that I have for version 3 and the path would be version 3 and license key so I'm not going to show it to you, but uh, this is how I can get uh, my license key for version 3 in my credentials. Let's uh, try just running the server and see if uh, it works out of the box. I seem to have uh, updated. Let's, uh, let's see. I will go to GitHub desktop and uh, see the changes. So yeah, I added my version 3 license key. And here I created for ROM AVA 243 to 306. So, uh, yes, I will run bin dev and see if the app manages to launch. And I get this uh, error. So, uh, some depreciation error, depreciated API error. So now I will need to well, upgrade our from 2 to our 3. And uh, actually, they have some upgrade guide. Let's uh, find it. Uh, I think I can find it just in the docs. So AVO 2 to 3 upgrade. And here they have this gem AVO upgrade. So I'm going to add this gem to the gem file. And run bundle. Now uh, what do I need to do next? I need to run this command upgrade 2 to 3. Okay, let's run this command. So enter, uh, selecting the first version because we're using the git, only makes sense. Enter, enter, enter. Yeah, it's just saying the things that it's going to do. Enter, 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 agree, and upgrade to our 3.0 completed. Let's have a look at what has been changed. So uh, a lot of files were renamed. So uh, previously we had just comments resource and now we have some uh, more correct nesting, it's like AVO resources, playlist, whatever. So uh, some files have been renamed and uh, yeah, it looks like the uh, upgrade tool only updated the naming of uh, a few files and uh, in some places it changed the model to record so that it's easier to uh, understand because model is just like the model, the object, whatever, but record is like an individual instance. So uh, let's try running the app and see if uh, if it works. Okay, we still get an error. Let's look at the error. Uh, so please use field method inside fields method. So uh, it means, uh, let's look at the docs. Uh, where was the upgrade guide? Use the dev fields API. So uh, we have this dev fields. Okay, so everywhere we had fields. Let's uh, have a look. Uh, so all these fields should be inside dev fields. This way, uh, like previously, we could have fields scattered all around the other. Uh, objects and now you have to have fields inside the dev fields. So let's say dev fields and we'll put all the fields uh, within that. And actually it's a good uh, 
update at least to have uh, more structure inside the other files because like here are the fields here is something else so i will need to add the fields in the each of the resources the fields Yeah, some manual work, but uh, that's okay. Do we have any fields here? Yeah, we do. We do have a lot of fields here. The fields. Putting all this stuff inside. Tags. and user okay let's try running avo once again and we still did not manage to do it let's see what the error was so search query lambda so uh, avo's uh, way of writing search queries has also changed let's uh, see how search refresh the search api um quite a lot of stuff so let's uh, try to open it and uh, go in the into our app here we don't search for within comments let's actually remove this mm. we don't search in playlist posts we do search on the playlists so let's go with the syntax we have search query and inside query we will have uh, query dot ransack yeah, so uh, basically looks like a lot of uh, syntax uh, changes inside our and uh, yeah let me make it not take so much space Maybe like this. Uh, no, I got a bit lost. <laughs> With all this copy pasting. Okay, so uh, this is the way it was. And this is the way it will be. So just change the syntax for uh, search inside playlists and we will do the same for other models. So post. Then uh, tags, we do search tags. And uh, we do search users. Okay, let's see if we can uh, launch the app now, whether other will give us any additional errors. Okay, so uh, content license is no longer supported. Uh, use license key instead let's go to avo.rb yeah so we don't have license we just have license key so maybe i can just comment this out let's try running once again we don't have the license key warning anymore but we still have something wrong let's see uh, use action inside actions method so the same way we did for our fields we put all our fields inside dev fields we'll do the same for our actions so whether i have actions yeah here i will have dev actions and uh, the same would be maybe somewhere else do we have actions anywhere else i don't think so let's uh, try and scan Okay, we have uh, undefined method grid. So Avo3 also has a different API for writing grids. Let's have a look. Uh, self grid view do. Okay, so this looks uh, quite different. Let's have a look at the not upgrade docs, but the regular docs for grid that Avo has now for version 3 grid. 
Okay, so here is the way a grid view would look. Let's copy it, and uh, we have a grid for both at the moment. So I will just uh, copy that grid. So uh, we have cover, record cover photo attached. We have record cover image. Uh, title would be record uh, dot title. Body would be uh, uh, what does it have here? It has truncated body. And uh, I think, yeah, I wonder whether the truncated body would work for us. But here you see I had this uh, sanitized uh, record body, whatever. I'll just comment this out for now and let's see if uh, this uh, works. I'm not sure if truncated body would work. I think just record.body would work. But let's uh, try this one beforehand. So let's go bin dev. Okay, that's not it. Still some work to do. It's quite nice that uh, we have this uh, like arrows and we know step by step like, okay, we fix this problem and now we need to fix this one. So let's go to filters, use filter inside filters. So, okay, we've done something similar. Uh, let's find filter. And here we have these uh, filters. So here we have uh, filter, it will be inside dev filters. And uh, I don't see any other filters. Let's try once again. Okay, it looks like the app is running. So let's uh, go back to the app, refresh it. And uh, it seems to be running. And you see we have this other status. Okay, uh, valid community license. Let me refresh. Uh, yeah, the community license is valid. Let's uh, see if uh, other stuff works. Okay, I go to post and uh, missing keyword resource. So uh, let's find this. And uh, I think we don't have to define resource here. We can just do it. Uh, just remove resource from here. Let's see. Okay. Do I have resource defined the same way anywhere else? Maybe I need to also update it. No, I don't think I do. Okay, so I have a list of posts. Uh, let me see if the grid view works. So truncated body is not available. I will go back to post and uh, use just record.body. But now I have the whole bodies, so we don't want to have the whole bodies. Let's try truncating to fewer symbols. Uh, Okay, let's see if this works. So uh, undefined method truncate. Maybe I will use uh, this thing that I used previously. Um, so body equals and all this stuff. And refreshing. And it seems to be working. But the images are not displayed, maybe because these records do not have images uh, attached. So uh, let's try going back and I will run an action to, yeah, I will select all the posts and import images. So now I started a job to import the images. And uh, I'm not sure if uh, there are any images that will be actually imported. Okay, anyway, it seems to be working. So the grid view displays. I can also search for something. Let's search for uh, bot wire. Okay, the search works. Going to other pages works. So yeah, the update did not take uh, a long time. So I guess that's it.